Hi, Timothy Unker here. In this video, I want to talk about NVI. Now, NVI is called the Berkeley Text Editor, and to install it in Debian 11 in the terminal, you just type sudo apt install NVI. Okay, you hit enter. I've already installed it. So to open NVI, you can type just NVI, or if you don't have Vim installed, you could type VI. I currently have Vim installed, so I'm going to type NVI, and that's going to open it up. And it has the VI uh, text editor commands. Okay, I'm going to quit out of here with colon Q, just like in Vim. And I'm going to open up a file I already created called about nvi.txt. We'll go through this. So again, NVI is the Berkeley text editor. It's a small VI clone. It was first appeared in the repo in May 27, 1986. Uh, and it's being updated through late 2020, at least. So it appears to be still fairly updated. Um, the movement commands, as you see I'm moving down with J here. I can move right with L. I can move left with H. And I can move up with K. Okay. Uh, to enter insert mode, I can do A. That's going to enter insert mode uh, after the cursor, you see, you see my cursor was on N, and now it's in insert mode uh, at T. So I can type here, and it'll appear there. Now, if I want to escape to go back to, they call it command mode, which is like normal mode in Vim. Uh, if I want to use I, that's going to enter insert mode before the cursor. So if I type, it's before the S. Okay. If I go to escape, uh, if I hit A, just like in Vim, I can add text to the end of the line. Okay. Um, and if I do uh, uppercase I, um, I can add text at the start of the line. Okay. Um, lowercase O will allow me to add text below the line um, and let's see uh, uppercase O will allow me to add text above the line so let me actually move up to like a middle here and do O so I can now add text above the line okay I can go to the top of the screen also with capital H, go to the bottom of the screen with capital L, go to the middle of the screen with capital M. Okay, so I can navigate the document fairly easily. Uh, for deleting and pasting text, um, YY will lank, yank the current line. So if I did YY10P, it would paste this YY yanks the current line 10 times below this. So let's do that. So YY10P, Okay, so there you go. Uh, I've duplicated that line a bunch of times. Now, if I want to delete that, I could do 10DD. So it takes counts just like Vim does. Uh, YW yanks the current word, and then I can paste it uh, just like I did there. Um, DW deletes the current word. Uh, y dollar sign yanks to the end of the line, and then we could paste it. You see what I just pasted. Uh, D dollar sign deletes to the end of the line. Uh, X deletes the current character. We can add a count X. So if I do three X, it's going to do E L E. So three X deleted E L E. Okay. Uh, we can also delete words. So if I do five D W, that count it deletes five words. Um, I think we do D E, which would delete to the end of the word, but not the space right after the word. So I just did that. Uh, Q quits, WQ saves and quits. Q colon quits without saving. So let's actually do that. Okay, so we quit without saving. Now let's go back in. Okay, go scroll down here. Um, let's see what else. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Oh, yeah. Uh, capital ZZ saves and quits. So we could just do ZZ and quit out. Uh, so that's that's kind of cool. Uh, let's go down. Um, 
Oh, there's a bunch of bunch of interesting ones like Control A will uh, if I put a count in front of that uh, like three. If I do three Control A, uh, it's not going to find the pattern. But um, let's try that somewhere else. Uh, so search wrapped. Let's see if we look for I don't know. Um, let's do two Control A. Okay, so it went to the next four, uh, the second four after. The current four, actually. Okay, uh, control B pages back a number of times. So let's do two, control B. That's going to move me up. Um, let's see what else. Uh, scroll forward is control E and control D. Uh, control E won't change the current line. So if I want to scroll forward five lines, I could do five, control E. And that's going to scroll forward five lines. Um, so that's nice for maybe centering it. Um, you can do control G will give you the uh, text. Now, if I want to go to the end of the file, I can't do capital G, but I can do uh, 101 G and that's going to bring me to the last line. Um, and then uh, I, I can't scroll off anymore, but um, that's pretty cool. Let's see what else. Uh, J, obviously you can do a count. So if I do 5J, it's going to bring me down five lines. 5K is going to bring me up. 5L is going to bring me five characters to the right. 5H is going to be bring me five characters to the left. Uh, control and then uh, Shift 6 will move you to the most a recent Reddit, uh, edited file. If I press uh, the percent, it's going to move to the next matching character. Well, that didn't seem to do it. Um, substitution, let's go. You can repeat a substitution with the ampersand. Um, you can back up a certain amount of sentences. Like if I do five parentheses, that's going to go back five sentences. Uh, if we do four closing parentheses, that's going to go forward four sentences. Um, Okay, so that's that. Uh, let's go up here. Um, move to the previous blank line uh, a certain amount of times below. So if I do two hyphen, uh, uh, that should go to the previous blank line. So two hyphen. Yeah, it, it kind of did. Um, doesn't work quite well, but that's what the man page says. Uh, repeat the last VI command. So it does have the dot command. So let's um, go one G to get to the top of this. And let's do shift O to create a line above. And I'm going to do doc type HTML. Like if I'm writing an HTML uh, doc type, I can do two B to move back two words. I can do shift uh, tilde to uppercase. And then I could do um, there's, let's see, six letters, so six dot, and that would uppercase the word. Now, we don't have a visual mode in NVI, as far as I know, so you can't like highlight it with V, but that's a way to uppercase that. If I wanted to uppercase this, I could do four dot, right? So that's pretty cool. Um, I could move back and do four dot again to toggle it back, because the tilde is actually toggles the case of the word. So that's a cool little trick. Uh, what else? Uh, N, search forward and backward for a regular expression. Uh, zero, move to the first character of the line. If I do a colon, I can execute a command like quit, uh, or I could do something, something else like a substitution. For instance, I could, let's see, let's do percentage S for the whole document. We're going to substitute move uh, to... Um, Let's see what way we substitute it to don't move and do it throughout. And then you see down here, don't move backward. Okay. Now I could do another substitution to change that back. So I could do the percentage S uh, forward slash. Let's see, we're looking for the pattern don't move. I'm going to change it to move. I'm going to do this globally. Okay. So it changes it back. So that, that's a cool little trick. Um, if you want to undo, that undid it, but then if I hit undo again, it's going to redo it. Okay, so that's a little different from Vim. Uh, 
Control X. I haven't really tried this, but this is what the man page says. And that's not allowing me to do it. So let me try Control X like that. Uh, and then I think maybe I can insert a hexadecimal character in. But again, I haven't tried that one. But that is an option that they talk about in the man page. Um, you can set options in your init file in your home directory, which is a .nexrc. Um, so you can go through some of these options, auto indent, auto write, columns, ignore case, key time, read only ruler, shift width, tab stop. And, and those are some of the options. Now, this obviously doesn't include all that this text editor does, but I thought I'd give you a quick review on it. Why might you use this? Well, I, I think it's a good text editor for writing. Um, you know, I've got like, RxVT Unicode here. I did a video of making this look good, but this has got the Monokai theme with a little transparent background. So I see a, a beach. If I want to go quit out of this, let me uh, quit without saving and just go in here and start typing a file. You know, it's pretty much a uh, distraction-free writing environment. Um, so you could write Markdown or a text file that you convert to HTML or PDF with something like Pandoc very easily. And I think uh, it would be a very nice distraction-free writing environment that's very efficient because you've got the basic VI commands without getting too much. Like Vim, some of the stuff you can do on Vim is it's so powerful that it, it could be overwhelming for some people. So you might want to use a little bit simpler version of uh, NVI, which is VI, which still has a ton of commands. Anyways, I hope you found this video interesting. Uh, if you did, maybe check out the NVI text editor and maybe give this video a like as it will help get out to more people. I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.